Gaffer, another great point on the road. Fantastic performance. Please just sum it up for us from your point of view, yeah, you're please. Right. I mean, it is a great point, and if, if we'd had a couple of wins, we'd be getting what a great point. Um, yeah, I've got so much to be pleased with. Um, a bit more quality in the final third, a bit more purpose in the final third when we get there. I think that was something they had, you know, when they got there, their deliveries were, were good and caused us a bit of problems. I um, think sometimes we didn't quite get that right, but, but I'm, I'm, I'm being picky. There was a, a lot to be pleased about, and I just love their belief in what we're doing. You know, the fans are getting them, as in, go on, you keep trying to play, and we went, OK, we, we will. And I know that sometimes it looks a bit risky, but the more you do it, the better you get at it, the less, the less risky it comes. Yeah, you've spoken about that a lot recently. You spoke about it at the fans forum, and, and you've been quite open about we will keep playing to the end, and, and fans could see that today. We, we played right to the end, and yeah. ultimately, bar, bar the three points, you could argue that it was nearly the, the perfect afternoon. It was, and when we broke a couple of times at their end, I thought, oh, is it going to come? It was sort of written for someone like Ramel or, or Roman to, to do it, you know, because he keeps saying to me, I score goals off the bench, and I went, go on, here's your moment, and I thought, he's in. So it, it felt like that. I did feel like, oh, it's going to come, and especially. You know, with, with a, a saying, you know, it, it felt like, oh, wouldn't it be wonderful to, to, to get the three points for, for that and, and just for the fans in general. But it wasn't to be, but um, you could see how appreciative the fans were yet again. Yeah, again, they the turned out in numbers, though, brilliant. Obviously, it's on the, the memorial of Hussein Quig Diop's uh, passing as well. Like you say, the, the players spent a bit of extra time out there, but I think a lot of that today was kind of a real, a real family feel of yeah. just about everything, everyone coming together. So I think that's a lot about what our club's about, right? 100%, and it was really important they spent a little bit more time there, you know, for, for, for the same, but also to show appreciation of, of, of what we're getting for the fans. I really feel like they can be the 12th man for us, especially during this period where we're still finding our feet, do you know what I mean? And, and we need to be confident in what we're doing. You know, they're, they, they're really important to us. And um, yeah, so it was great. Yeah, we've come up against a Rotherham side today, especially on their own patch, who, who you expect to arguably up, be up there towards the end of the season. And yeah. we, we've come here and to be fair, that we didn't ever really seem under too many long periods of pressure. We, we kept no. the ball and we, kept, like I said, kept trying to play. Yeah, I mean, they had moments, of course they had moments. A few flashed across the, the goal and, you know, but. I agree. It wasn't like sustained, really sustained, and or, you know. And I thought we had some sustained moments of real control, where 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 it was good. And you know, looking at every game, and we seem to miss a big chance in key moments, like real key moments. And we did at the start of the second half. I really wanted us to not spend the first 10, 15 minutes defending, and we didn't. I thought we come out with real good control. And obviously, we've missed a, a really good chance early on. And I think you know that's key when these little things happen, and we've got to keep working on the training pitch on this and make sure it doesn't become. A, ment a mental thing, you know, and keep feeling full of confidence. So I think when we get those goals at the right moments, you know, the floodgates could open for us. Yeah, and how beneficial do you think that will be longer term? The, the fact that the repetition, the fact that the lads keep trying it, keep doing it, keep doing it, because yeah. again, Burton will be trying to play football in the 80th minute where, when they're away from home. It yeah. isn't necessarily natural to, no. to, to some people who've watched for so many years. Yeah, and it's, it's not easy, Rob. That's why. You know, a lot of people don't do it. It's not easy, and and you're trying to change behaviour of players who possibly haven't done it before, and players that are young and want to do it but haven't done it at this level. You know, as I said, we've got to remember we've only got five players that have played at this level, and that doesn't mean the players that aren't good enough to play at this level. But that's the reality. There's only five that have actually played at this level, and um, I, I, I'm full of admiration for them. You know, I, I, I love them. I love what they're trying to do, and you know, I'm, I'm really excited about what can happen. Yeah, Danilo Orsi and Jack Cooper love getting the first goals as well yeah. for the club in the league. How, how important is, is them and how hard have they worked to, to get there and get them? And this, totally, and this is why it's so important you keep doing the right things. You keep doing the right things, trying to do the right things. Things will eventually drop and all showed like great finish, calm finish. And Jack showed what sort of player he can be. You know, we put a bit of pressure on him today to up his game. And he certainly did that, I thought. You know, he was, he was very good. I mean, the goal's a great goal. You know, I'm looking forward to watching it back, not just the finish, but the build-up to the goal is, is a, in an excellent goal. Yeah, obviously there, there was Terence Van Kooten who had to go off the pitch, and again, the, the injury situation isn't ideal, but how, how do you feel we are looking now? Obviously, we, we've got what we've got now to at least January. How, how do you feel that the squad is? Yeah, it's a bit one in, one out, so we're opening, we want one in, one in. Um, I'm hoping it's not too bad, we shall see. But again, Nick's come on, you know, and done brilliantly, and that doesn't mean, you know, I'm, I'm hoping... 
that Terence is all right, but Nick's come on and done so well in that position. Um, but we have got players coming back. You know, Jace was on the bench today. Alex Bannon would have been, but he just had a bit of a dead leg. We've obviously got um, Alejandro. You know, so I'm, I'm sure in four weeks I'll be talking to you going, I'm, I'm having trouble yeah. <laughs> Pick, picking the starting 11, which is what you want. You need that competition and, you know, you want that that tough selection, everyone fighting for their place. Mm. And I just said that in there, to them in there, you know, they've got to keep this we, not me attitude. And I believe they will. They're a great bunch of lads. They really are. Yeah, and we spoke about it as a, as a whole club, a whole mentality. We're leading into Barnsley now next week. How important is it that everyone's on the same page, that we can hopefully go, again, Pat the Pirelli, get yeah. a great crowd in there, great atmosphere throughout, and, and really kind of go all guns blazing as I, such? I can't emphasise it enough how important it is to what, what we want to do to have this positivity. You know, you was at the, the fan forum the other night and it was quite overwhelming for me. You know, I, I, I knew we had positive fans, but I didn't quite expect that response and how much they want to see this style of football. You know, it was, it was quite overwhelming. We actually played the videos to the, the players, you know, because the fans wanted to get it across to the players. And it's so important because, you know, there's going to be errors when you do this. There has to be, unfortunately. You just hope they don't cost you. But for them to go again and want to do it again, they need the backing of the fans. Because if you get the moans and groans, then people start hiding. They don't want the ball. And then you're back to you're back to square one. And so them being as positive they are, is like, I can't emphasise enough how huge it is for them. Yeah. Ramel came on at the end and then obviously it looked like a very young Burton Albion side out there. I mean, the yeah. average age, we don't quite know what it was, but no. obviously fr r really good to see. We said that, you know, Ramel's 17 and, you know, we, we I, I don't know what it would be, but we look, I looked out there and I thought, you know, we're going to have to set, defend long throws and corners. You know, it's a big experience for a lot of those lads, but I thought they did it great. You know, I think Thomas has got up and won a header there. And these are all things that are so important if they're going to shine at this level. But, yeah, I, I can't believe the average age of the team could have been more than 22, 23 at the end. So it was, it was good to see. Cisco.